Hi guys and welcome to Zozo Cooks Keto. Today we're going to be making a bolognese stuffed portobello. It's an absolutely delicious dish, it's super easy to make and it is great for food prep. Let's get started. For this recipe you'll need six large portobello mushrooms, one pound of 80-20 ground beef or Italian sausage, one cup of low-carb marinara. I'm using one from my local grocery store. It has six carbs per half cup serving. And in this dish, we'll be splitting two servings into six, which will really help reduce the carb count. Six ounces of grated mozzarella, six ounces of spreadable garlic cheese. I'm using garlic and herb alouette one cup of frozen spinach, because it's always good to add some greens, and one teaspoon of Italian seasoning. Let's get started. Take the ground beef and place it into a large pot on a medium-high heat. Using a firm spatula or a wooden spoon, slowly start to break it up into smaller chunks. You'll want to continue cooking the beef until it's nicely brown, and been fully broken down into smaller pieces. That looks good. Add the marinara sauce, the Italian seasoning, and combine. Next, add the frozen spinach, mix, and cook until most of the liquid has evaporated. This will help concentrate the flavor and remove any excess water the spinach has added to the sauce. To clean the mushrooms, I'll be using a large bowl, a spoon, and a damp paper towel. Take a mushroom, and using the paper towel, gently wipe the cap clean. Once done, flip it over, and remove the stem. Using a spoon, gently scrape out the mushroom gills, creating a small cavity. Perfect. Do this with the remaining five mushrooms. Next, we'll be adding our garlic herb cheese. Luckily, this brand of cheese is already divided up into six servings. Using my spoon, I can easily scoop out what I need and then spread it evenly along the inside of the mushroom. I love using this cheese spread as it adds a wonderful flavor to the dish. Scoop the slightly cooled bolognese into the garlic and cheese-coated mushrooms. As you can see, it was important to cook out most of the liquid from the sauce, as we'd end up with a sloppy mess, and nobody wants that. Make sure to pack the bolognese in nice and tight. Finally, Add a generous amount of mozzarella to each of the stuffed mushrooms. Sometimes it helps to press the cheese down a little in order for it to stick. And we're done! To cook, place the mushroom on a foil-lined pan and bake in the oven for 35 minutes at 350 degrees Fahrenheit. I often like to prepare this dish for my lunches during the week or as a backup dinner. To do that, I'm going to wrap the mushrooms in foil and pop them in the freezer. When cooking them from frozen, make sure to uncover the mushrooms so the cheese doesn't stick to the foil. I do recommend folding the edges of the foil up when cooking the mushroom as it does release quite a bit of liquid. The macros for one mushroom are 30.4 grams of fat, 2.3 grams of fiber, 8.5 grams of total carbs, that's 6.2 net, and 25 grams of protein. I 
I hope you enjoyed watching this video, and if you'd like to see more, please click the subscribe button, the like button, and ring that bell for future notifications. Thanks for watching.